Good morning, everybody. Happy Tuesday. In the midst of answering all my questions about Rare Disease Day, all the questions that you guys had, we kind of stumbled upon, authentically stumbled upon the conversation of comparing children, more specifically children with Sebastian Same Syndrome. And it ended up leading me to opening up a conversation with another mom who has a child with CDLS. Freya is a sweet little girl. She's three years old and she's also been diagnosed with CDLS. And her mom and I, Marcy, have been following each other for quite some time now, but we have never actually had an opportunity to have a real conversation until yesterday. It's interesting because I'm on social media, I'm, I'm posting, I'm commenting, I'm interacting with you guys, but at the same time, I'm not. And the reason is because originally I started posting on Instagram and Instagram turned very ugly very fast for us i i don't know why but for some reason all of the wrong people found our page on instagram and that's kind of where marcy and freya's journey started as well and where we kind of found each other was through instagram so in the past i used to just make a post on instagram and i would leave it i wouldn't read the comments i wouldn't interact i wouldn't i would just i would leave it so it's like i was on social media but i wasn't so although marcy and i have been like mutual social media friends for probably years now, we've never really had an opportunity to talk to each other and I wish we would have sooner. Some of you I know already know who Freya is. I know that you follow her journey here on YouTube. Her channel's name is Freya's Lucky Arm. But if you don't know her, I would like to take a minute to introduce them. Hi everybody, I'm Marcy. This is Freya. She's three years old and she has Cornelia DeLange syndrome. I am a mom to four kids. Freya is the youngest. We would love for you to come over and meet Freya and learn about her as an individual person and not just her diagnosis. Our kids with CDLS all have similarities but are all vastly different, just like typical kids are. And they're their own people. So if you wanna come follow us, our YouTube channel is called Freya's Lucky Arm. We love Sebastian and Stephanie. Um, Sebastian is the first person with CDLS that we found after we got Freya's diagnosis. And it was just a great representation of having a child with CDLS and having life continue and what that life might look like. And we will forever be grateful to them. I wanted to introduce those of you who don't know about Freya and, and you don't know her mom, Marcy, because I, I want you to be able to learn about CDLS from somebody else's perspective and somebody else's journey. I really want you all to see just how vast this syndrome is and how each person diagnosed with CDLS is their own person and they're on, they're on their own journey. I know that it's really hard not to compare children. For some people, it's not hard. I feel like a lot of people don't typically compare typical children who develop typically, um, but more specifically, obviously focused on two children or multiple children, but just speaking directly about Sebastian and Freya, it's hard not to compare the two of them because they have the same syndrome and they both have different journeys. So it's really hard not to compare them, but I encourage you to try to not do that. I want you to also know that it's absolutely okay to recognize similarities and also realize that there are differences but also keep in mind that sebastian and freya and any other person like i said with cdls they are all on their own journey and that's why i really just wanted to not only because there's people in the comments who have been commenting about freya but for me personally being an advocate for cdls and marcy as freya's mom being an advocate for cdls that's the feeding pump one second i wanted to give all of you an opportunity to see cdls through somebody else's journey sebastian and freya's journeys are so different Freya doesn't have a history of congenital heart disease. She doesn't have a history of encephalopathy. She has different challenges and she's overcome different things. Their journeys are so completely different. And I, I feel like, and Marcy and I talked about this, she and I are only the only ones really on YouTube talking about Cornelia DeLang syndrome. And so I, I really just honestly would love for all of you to just have an opportunity to see CDLS in somebody else's life and to see their journey and to encourage them and love them the way that you have loved Sebastian and I and Gio through this journey. Marcy is very similar to me in the aspect of if you want to know something, ask. Um, you have all graciously and very honestly and openly and respectfully been able to ask me your questions and given me an opportunity to be an advocate for this syndrome. 
So if you go over to their channel, which I hope that you do, I hope you give them a subscribe. I hope you root for Freya just as you have been rooting for Sebastian. But also if you have questions, just ask in the way that you have been asking me, just be kind to them, which I know most of you will, but I think just as an advocate, receiving questions is an opportunity for advocacy. And I know just as much as I wanna get Sebastian's story out there and his experience, Marcy feels the same way about Freya because again, I can't say it enough. They are two totally different kiddos. Yes, with the same syndrome, they are on their totally separate journeys. So if you wanna know more about CDLS from somebody else's perspective, go and give their channel a follow. Again, it's Freya's Lucky Arm. Go say hello, go introduce yourselves, be kind, be supportive. I know you're gonna love her just as much as you love Sebastian. She, she is just the cutest little thing and it's so funny for me as a boy mom to see another girl with Sebastian syndrome. It's just, I don't know, I think girls are Sebastian's really cute, but Freya's really cute too. Girls are always just a little bit cuter <laughs> with their ponytails and stuff. But anyway, that's just the mom speaking in me, not the advocate speaking in me. But yes, go give them a follow. Go send them some love. And Sebastian and I will see you a little bit later for the rest of our Tuesday vlog. And the last thing I have to say is Sebastian and Freya are about to take over YouTube. So buckle in.